and two. Wow, another week has flown by. This is episode 337 of Fine Music, and Fred is so eager to share with you his discovery, he almost forgot that we have an intro. <laughs> now, Fred. Well, I'm starting out, uh, about a week or two ago, I brought up guitarist Julian Lay Lodge, and he has a new album that just came out this week called Speak to Me. And what really caught my eye, it's produced by Joe Henry, singer, songwriter, and producer who's done, has a number, great catalog of his own. And he helps the guitarist broaden his approach. Uh, there's, he plays in trio, solo, and a larger ensemble with keyboards and sax. Uh, starts out quietly with a song called Hymnal and then it's followed by a kind of rocking song, uh, Northern Shuffle. It's a great jam with keyboards and he's multi-talented. He layers over acoustic and electric guitars on some cuts. He gets a little experimental and then a quiet again with a song called Serene and Myself Around You. It's a beautiful tune. He's it's got a great ability to infuse his songs with the unexpected twists and just memorizing tunes and with a strong foundation he this is 13 tunes that will keep you satisfied another album i discuss, discovered this week is jamari masamba unit Yahweh is love is the title. And this is a duel between a guy who calls himself Mad Lib, his actual name is Otis Jackson Jr. And he teams up with drummer Kareem Riggins. And together they do a sort of jazz Smooth jazz, I hate to use the word smooth because it turns off some people, but this is a liberating smooth jazz album. And it's got some great tunes, All Things, Appointed Soul. There are really some good jams on here. And uh, Madlib is a multi-instrumentalist. And as one reviewer pointed out, it's sort of hard to figure out whether he's playing some of the instruments or it's sampled in on electronics it's well-crafted album it's a great sonic tribute to jazz rock smooth jazz 14 vibrant cuts and i've been listening to it a lot in the mornings it's a great album to start the day off but the biggest surprise to me is the new sean lennon album Asterisms. It's a jazz rock prog fusion album. And I, it's a stunning album. It really drew me in with driving guitar work, drumming, synthesizer. It's powerful. Uh, he works with a lot of downtown New York people and uh, out of John Zern's recording studio. It's trippy and tense and just brilliant orchestration he's put together. It's creative, has a lot of driving rhythms and it grabs you right from the title tune, which has a lot of Sean Lennon's guitar work on it. I highly recommend this album. It's definitely the album of the week for releases. Yeah, I, I gave it a listen, Fred, because of your link on fine music. And it, it started off kind of new agey. I was yeah. like, oh, he made a new age album. But as the album progressed, it got jazzier and jazzier and jazzier. So it's a jazz album. Yeah. yeah. It's a great album. I, I, I love it. What was the name of the second artist again? I didn't quite catch it. Okay. Um... 
I'll spell it out. The first name is J A H A R I. And the last name is M A S S A M B A unit. That's what those two call themselves when they record together. Got it. Any comments out there about these albums? I'm looking at the uh, wiki entry for Julian Lodge, and um, I knew I'd heard his name somewhere before, and I think I was listening to an NPR live broadcast of one of his concerts where he did an in-studio concert, and he was good. Yeah, he's really gotten around. He does a lot of collaborations also, so yeah. I've listened to a few of his albums, and I really enjoy them. He is but a child, though. He's only 36. <laughs> all right well thank you fred for those discoveries and we're gonna move on to our next episode let's see 